What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to wrap your steering wheel trim. So as you guys can see, my steering wheel trim is all beat up. It's scratched up, everything. It does not look that good. So I bought some wrap and I'll have that linked in the description. I got a matte black wrap little kit. It came with this squeegee and cutting piece. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that and let's go ahead and get right into it. First thing you're going to want to do is, is go to the back of your trunk and you're going to want to undo the battery. So the battery's in the trunk compartment. It's down in this little corner over here. So as you guys can see, the battery is right down there. And what we need to do is disconnect the negative terminal so that there's no power going to the airbag up in the front. All right, guys, so what you're going to need is a 10 mil little bit piece. And then go ahead and undo the negative terminal. All right, so once you have the negative terminal undone, go ahead and put like a cloth underneath it so it doesn't touch it again. I'll show you guys what I mean by that. All right, guys, so once you get your little towel, what you're gonna wanna do is take the negative terminal and then go ahead and pull up. It's undone, and then I put the cloth under it so that it doesn't accidentally touch it again because you don't want it to touch while you're working on it. And perfect. So now it's not gonna touch, and we can go to the front of the car. All right, guys, so now that we're at the front of the car, we can go ahead and take off the airbag. So in order to take off the airbag, you're gonna need to get a little small screwdriver, something like this, extra small. And then you go to the back of the steering wheel. Right here, there's a little indentation. And what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and stick the screwdriver in there. And what you're gonna try to do is pop out the airbag. So there's a little spring that you need to hit in order to pop it out. You can't see it, so you just have to play around for a bit. The first time I did it, it took me like, ooh, like 30 minutes to an hour to do it. So be prepared if it's your first time that it might take a while, but I've done it many times, so it shouldn't take me too long. And you're gonna wanna do it on the other side as well. So you do one side first, then the other side next. Let's see if I can do it first try. All right, got this side off. So now we're gonna go to the other side. All right, perfect. So I got the other side off too. Once you get the airbag popped out, you're gonna take it and move it like this. So it's kind of like sitting there. And these little clips, you're gonna take that same little flathead screwdriver and essentially just poke it in there until it clips off, like just like that. Same for the both. Perfect. And then you go ahead and take these out. There's one, there's the other, and perfect. We got the airbag out. Let me just show you guys what you're looking for when you wanna poke it out. So this little bar right here is the bar that you're trying to push in. There, perfect, it's moving like that. And once you do that, it pops out. And it's the same for this side as well. All right guys, so the next step you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and get a 16 mil. Once you get your 16 mil, you're gonna go ahead and stick this right here. And then you're gonna to try to pop out this bolt. Also guys, make sure you unplug these two little things also. All right, and once you get the bolt out, go ahead and take off the steering wheel. Also guys, make sure you don't touch the clock spring. If you touch the clock spring, it could all come out and that's just a big mess that you don't wanna do. So make sure you be careful when you uh, take off the steering wheel and when you put it back on, you don't want that to happen. I, it happened to me before and it, it was just a pain. So you definitely don't want that to happen. But anyway, once you get the steering wheel out, I think it's a T25 bit right here that you're gonna go ahead and do right here, down here, and also right over here. All right guys, so you're actually gonna need a T20 bit. So go ahead and grab your T20 bit and go ahead and undo them all. And then make sure you don't lose the little bits. Perfect, so then you just have to wiggle it off and uh, you get your trim off. All right guys, so once you get your trim off, you're gonna wanna get these like aluminum pieces off. So on the back, there's the same one, so it's, I, I think it's a T20. So go ahead and undo all four of these, and then you get the black trim piece. Make sure you guys don't lose the screws either. I normally put them in my center console, so I don't lose them, and I know exactly where they are. All right, guys, so the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and sand all of this off. We wanna make it a nice, uh, clean surface. As you guys can see right now, it's all beat up. So let's go ahead and sand this. All right guys, so once you get your sandpaper, you can either wet sand it or just sand it normally. And then just sand it down until you get it nice and smooth so that you think it's able for wrap. Now obviously it's gonna be different for everybody and mine's pretty bad, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sand it all down, but make it as smooth as possible for the wrap. All right guys, once you get it all sanded, you wanna go ahead and rinse it off and then dry it off with a towel. All right guys, before you start, 
Make sure you wipe this down with uh, rubbing alcohol so that it actually sticks. Alright guys, so once you get it on there, what you want to do is trim down the wrap until it's like pretty close to the edges so it's easier to work with. Uh, then go ahead and heat it up again and you should be able to just put on the screws for this uh, aluminum trim piece and this part should be good and then wrap the rest inside. Alright guys, so once you get it pretty much wrapped around, as you can see, it's pretty much good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the pieces and like put it together and hopefully it looks better. All right, so as you guys can see, I put on the aluminum trim piece and it looks like 10 times better. So what I did is I wrapped in the wrap or under the uh, aluminum trim piece and it just looks pretty clean. So there's a little bit of a bump right here, but that should be able to go away with some heat. Um, and now I'm just gonna do the other side also. All right guys, so the next part is we're gonna go ahead and cut little holes in these so the buttons can go back in. All right guys, so I just got this one on too and it's looking really good. So let's go ahead and put it back onto the steering wheel. All right guys, once you get to this point, go ahead and tuck everything in. So like down here, tuck this in. Over here, tuck everything in, up here too. And then let's go ahead and uh, tighten it on the bottom. All right guys, so once you tighten everything up in the back, make sure you do that, uh, you go ahead and put it back into the car. So when you're putting it back into the car, be careful to not hit the clock spring. You don't want that to pop out. So with that being said, let's go ahead and put it back into the car. All right guys, so once you get it in, make sure that you line up the bolt. So there's like a little line right on here. Make sure you line up the arrow to the line. Grab the bolt, go ahead and put that back in. Perfect. All right, and then you go ahead and plug everything back in. So take these, plug them back in. Perfect. All right, now we're ready for the airbag. So let's go ahead and grab our airbag. And this part's pretty easy. So essentially, you're just gonna pop the, the airbag back in place. First, plug these back in. It's color uh, coordinated. All right, once you guys got those plugged in, the green and the black, go ahead and put the airbag back. All right, so now it's just like floating like this and then just go ahead and push it till it clicks. Perfect. So now that it's in the car, let's go ahead and take a good look at it. And oh my goodness, it looks so much better than before. It almost looks OEM, especially with the matte black. Like obviously there's a little bit of like things right here. You can go ahead and push those back in with like a small flathead over here as well. But from before to now, it looks 10 times better. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. So let's go ahead and tuck those back in before we do anything else. And perfect, so now it looks a little bit better than before even. The next step is to go ahead and plug in the battery again so you get power to the car. Now, be careful when you do this because it could electrocute you if you're not careful. Otherwise, this looks like really good and it's worth like the $10 mod. Like I said, that, that wrapping paper, the wrap was about 10 bucks. It was a little kit, came with everything that you need, except I did use some scissors and a heat gun. Go ahead and plug the battery back in and uh, you should be good to go. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it helped in any way. If it did, if you guys could leave a like and subscribe, even comment, do something. It would really help out my channel. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Show me how the con.